All right. Well, hello, everybody. This is a bit of a spontaneous live stream here, but uh, I'll kind of tell you guys a story. I'm going to try and breathe as much as I can. I'm feeling very nervous right now about what's about to happen. Um, so here's the story. So about uh, two or three days ago, I had somebody contact me, and they sent me a picture, and they said, uh, Jason, what is this insect? And the second I saw that insect, I knew exactly what it was. I knew that it was a tarantula hawk wasp. So I talked with them and I said, okay, um, can you get that to me? Is that alive? So they ended up being able to get it and I do have it here with me right now. So this is why I'm so nervous. I'm not only nervous because this is live, but I'm nervous because this thing is alive. So I'm a little bit scared about it. But what I want to do today, and I have to warn you, do not try this at home because anything could happen. I'm going to do my best to be as calm as I can so nothing happens, so this thing does not sting me. But my goal is to transfer this guy into my pop-up rearing cage. So um, before I get to him, I'm going to show you some of the stuff I plan on putting in there. I want to keep this guy alive so I can educate people about him. I don't know how long he's going to live regardless. But I want to try and keep him alive in this cage. That way that I can teach people about him and show him off to people. Maybe I'll make another video about him potentially, but at this point I just want to try and transfer him into there. But I figured I'd do it with you guys and have a recording of it. That way then we could, uh, you know, keep this and have a recording of it. So I know it's a really odd time to be recording and I've only got one person out there watching, but thank you for uh, tuning in at this random hour of the day on a Saturday. I'm sure most of you are out there doing laundry or collecting insects, hopefully. So... Um, what I'm going to put in there is I've got uh, this little thing of paper towel and water. I've also got some honey. I'm just thinking maybe he might want to eat some of that just in case of the flowers that I have, um, just in case they don't have enough uh, nectar or pollen on them for him to eat. So I'm just going to kind of spread that a little bit in here. Got this nice little baby spoon. It's beautiful. You'll have to let me know who's out there. Uh, my one diehard fan that's out there right now in this random time. Let me know who you are out there if you want to. Give me a shout out. You might be the only person watching, so if there's some sort of medical incident, you might have to be the one that has to step in to help me. So you better let me know who you are so I can know if I can trust you. Um, anyways, so I'm gonna put that into the rearing cage. And I'm gonna wipe off my hand really quickly. All right. Still just one person out there, and I still don't know who you are. Amazing. But I want to have two people. Maybe one of you will be responsible enough to tell me who you are so I know who's watching out for me. I'm also going to put in some apples in there. I don't know if he wants this. I'm just kind of throwing a whole bunch of stuff in there because I don't know exactly what he's going to eat. I just want to keep him alive for a few days because over the weekend I'm going to be busy. And I'm not going to have time to film anything with him, so I might as well just get him transferred into this uh, cage and get some apples in there too for him in case that's something he might want to eat. Also, I have some flowers. So for the most part, from what I understand, these will feed on nectar and pollen and things like that. So I've got some flowers. He is, uh, he's in there with a couple of petunias. And I've got some flowers, some wild sunflowers and a couple of wild thistles. So I'm gonna take all those, I'm gonna put them in the rearing cage and uh, I'll kind of transfer those right now so you can watch them. You can watch him as well. In there. just want to get this all set up for him so that he can kind of be in there and hopefully he'll be able to find some pollen or nectar or things that will be a, a benefit to him a couple i don't know if he's going to get anything out of those they're small but you never know they're kind of fresher flowers there's a thistle flower and then i've just got another one with water and a paper towel there just to, whoops just to give him some moisture have that in there as well so still only two people and i'm not sure who's out there but hey we're gonna still do this anyways so thank you guys for joining me move this so they say that this sting you know from the coyote the coyote peterson thing let's take out my name tag there anyways from the coyote peterson things Brave Wilderness, those videos, and I thought those were awesome seeing him 
doing that, I don't really want to get stung by this thing, but we're going to go ahead and try and see if we can transfer it into there. So let's see if we can get the camera in a way that'll kind of show a little bit of all this. So I'm just going to open game time now, guys. Oh, we got Jammer 6 HYTT, HYYT. There you go. You got my back. Okay. We're going to see what happens here. I'm going to open this up. I'm going to actually open it up in there. Do anything to me. The worst case scenario is that he's just going to fly out and he's going to be flying around my office. And then you're going to get to watch me kind of chase him around in my office. But I'm going to just uh, open this up. All right. Come on. Sorry. Let me get this. Let's turn the camera down, guys. Oops. Here he goes. Holy cow, seeing this thing out of the cage just instantly, like, my heart is just, like, going crazy. Look at him. He's going straight for that pollen. He is. Oh, my gosh. Sorry, this is not the best footage ever. He just instantly went for that flower. He's like, boom, I want that. Oh, you guys do not know how shaky I am right now. Like, I'm sure this thing is shaking a little bit. I'm sorry about that. Let's move it over here. Let's see what he's doing. If you can see him through that mesh, I know it's kind of hard to see. He's over in there now. Now he's climbing up the side of the thing. Oh, oh my gosh, that sounds so scary. Get this lid on as soon as possible. I do not want him flying around in here. The sound of those wings, holy cow. You guys do not understand how much adrenaline is going through me right now. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is so scary, man. Just hearing the sound of those wings just freaks me out. Oh my gosh. Wow. Look at him. Just moving around in there. Beautiful specimen. The size of this thing is just huge. It's amazing. Diving right in here. We've got him in this rearing cage, and hopefully he'll be able to stay alive in there. He did go for that pollen on the um, thistle, so we'll see how well he does in here. I don't like the fact that he's right here on my door um, at this point. See, there he is. He's walking, like, right in front of the camera. <laughs> Once he kind of gets further into there, then I think I'll try and film a little bit more showing the actual footage of him. This is just such a fascinating species. It's really cool. This wasp is totally awesome. Yeah, it can be a little bit stressful. It's kind of exciting at the same time. Looks like he's going for the apple now. Let's see if we can get a shot of that. I don't know what he's doing there for sure. Try to get the camera into there slightly. I really don't want him to come out. So I'm just going to see what, he, what he's doing in there. This is so hard to do with this camera. going for the apple. I think he's eating it. Very interesting. Okay, I'm going to pick up the tablet off of here. And I'm going to try flipping the camera. Take a little more control over this. Alright, let's see what we can do here. Where is the camera up there? Right there. whole cage out here. Try and get some shots of him eating that apple. Sorry for all the shakiness, guys. I'm trying to move the equipment and keep myself safe and operate the camera at the exact same time. Going for the apple, trying to eat it. Good news for us, that means he's eating, so I don't know what else he's doing with that. I can't quite tell if he's 
he doing or what he's doing? Looks like he's chewing. I'm gonna get a better shot. Those of you just joining in, do not try this at home. Do not handle this species. Do not interact with it. Just avoid it. He is indeed feeding on the apple. Pretty interesting. Anyways. I'm a bit disappointed that we only had one person out here, but I'm glad uh, I had one representative out there to kind of watch me through this. Let me get... Uh, well, I'm still a little nervous about this. I'm going to lock zip this guy up before anything else happens here. Let me zip it up. Okay, so he is just chowing down on that apple right now. For those of you out there that watch this after the stream, let me know what you guys think I should do with it. I'm think... Excuse me. I'm thinking right now I'm just going to keep it alive long enough um in order to you know get some good footage of it if i could find a big spider i'd love to put it in there and see if it would uh take it down if possible uh, but i just really wanted to show off this amazing species because it's just such a beautiful thing i mean it's awesome but at the same time it's so scary uh, so anyways let me know if you guys enjoyed this let me know what you think i should do with it i am not planning on having it sting me um I am seriously thinking that, you know, after being actually in the same open air as this creature, I am seriously thinking about um, holding it, letting it walk on my hand. But I'm not feeling a little bit scared about that, especially those moments when I heard its wings buzzing and um, just, you know, being within inches of it that it could sting me. So I don't know if I'm going to do that or not. Let me know if think I'll probably end up just letting it go in a few days but if I can keep it alive for a few days in order to film a little bit more of it then I'll try and do another video for you guys just to educate people about it but let me know what you guys think and if you enjoyed this give me a like and a subscribe and uh, stay tuned next time for the insect hunter where big adventures start small